Well, it is no secret that technology is influencing how we live probably more than ever before, right? Well, joining us uh, to celebrate a continuation, I think, on International Women's Day is a woman who has accomplished uh, quite a lot. And I'm so excited to welcome to our show this morning, Randy Zuckerberg. Good morning. So good to see you. Thank you, Carly. It's wonderful to be here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I'm just fascinated with your background and what you've been able to accomplish. You were also a mom as well, a mom of three. And when you talk about these jobs and, and this world that we're now, I mean, I don't think anyone kind of predicted where we were going to be. Um, the world of technology, talk about how important it is right now and how important it is that we get more women in these jobs, Randy. Oh my gosh, oh my it's, gosh crucial it's crucial that we get more women into these jobs. You know, there was already before the pandemic, such a huge gap. Uh, women make up more than half of the American workforce, but when you look at the tech industry, and the tech industry encompasses a lot, it encompasses not just computer programming, but also manufacturing, agriculture, healthcare, all of these important industries, it's fewer than 30% of the jobs are held by women in those industries. And uh, the pandemic has actually made it even worse because so many women have had to drop out of the workforce with increased pressures uh, and jobs at home. So it is crucial that we talk about this and start addressing this right now. So why is that? Why are women so, you know, not getting these particular jobs? What, what can we do to change that? Because obviously if that's where the country is headed and that's where a lot of these jobs are gonna be, we want women to have these jobs. Absolutely, we want women to have these jobs. These are important, impactful, and well-paying jobs, and we want women to have them. You know, I think that uh, I want to acknowledge that it can feel very overwhelming to go into these careers because they feel like they're very male-dominated. Um, women might feel like they don't have uh, the resources and community around them, and that's why I was so excited to work with DeVry University. They are launching a new program, the Women and Tech Scholars Program, that really addresses all of the challenges women are facing diving headfirst into a digital career. They're uh, providing mentorship. They're providing early access to internships and jobs, education and training, uh, certification and different credits. And um, uh, so it's very exciting what they're doing because it's one of the first programs I've seen that really encompasses the entire 360 of what women need to be successful in technology. Oh, Randy, I wanted to get your thoughts again. I brought it up at the top because I just admire, admire it so much. But how do you what's your advice for working moms? And uh, it's definitely a balancing act that, again, I think there's working dads out there as well. But it's a little different. I think the conversation that's being had around working moms. What what advice oh, do you I have for other working moms out there? For sure. And I know that you're a working mom, too, and, and we share that. And, uh, you know, it's, it's definitely a struggle. Um, and uh, I actually have a mantra. I wrote a book about this called Pick Three because I, I'm not actually sure that I really believe in balance, that that really exists for any of us. So I, I choose to adopt a life that's well lopsided, I'll call it. And uh, my mantra goes like this, work, sleep, family, friends, fitness pick three. Um, you can kind of change the three that you're picking, but you, we just have to be real honest with ourselves, especially in a pandemic year, that you just can't pick more than three things to do at a time. So, you know, if, if you have kids at home and you're focused on your career, that's awesome. And cut yourself some slack on the things that maybe you can't get to right now. Yeah. What do you hope to see kind of in the future and uh, with more women in the technology? You know, what is that going to um, provide? What do you see? What's the benefit of that, of having more women in these tech jobs like yourself? Oh, my gosh. The benefits are, are so massive. When you have more women in the room, uh, they open the door for other women. They hire other women. They mentor other women. They turn around and invest in other women when they've had success. Um, so it's just a, a wonderful thing. It, there's also so many stats about how much more successful businesses are financially when they have more women at the table. It boggles my mind 
how these huge tech companies and businesses in the sector reach billions of people, many of whom are women, but yet don't have women's voices represented making big strategic decisions for the company. So it's a good business decision to have women at the table. And uh, we desperately need more women stepping up in those roles. All right. Well, Randy, what a treat to, to speak with you this morning. Good luck on everything. We wish you the best in all your future endeavors as well. And thanks for taking some time again to celebrate, continue celebrating International Women's Day with us. Thank you so much for having me. And head to devry.edu for more info on their program. All right. right, will do. And we'll make sure that gets on our website as well.